So this is going to take us to a website. Um, this is a uh, looks like a crown hall type uh, building, kind of a, a kind of it might be a it's a Mies van der Rohe um, copy or um, I don't know adaptive reuse. We'll find out on the website. Um, but it's this is a great has a lot of great visuals for the description of these uh, ETFE surfaces. So um, let me just bounce out to that web page. And I'll just zoom up here. And um, so um, they talk about an adaptive and responsive facade. Um, it's on the IIT campus where the um, the, the Mies um, Crown Hall is. So I'm, I'm not sure whether it's a proposal or uh, what the whole storyline is on it. But that's uh, really not the point of why we're looking at this right now. It's really just to get an idea. I think this is just really descriptive of the way panel systems could be divided off uh, using these films. Now this could be a dynamic facade. It could change like that. But more than likely, it's a one pattern um, that you choose. And that's what is constructed for the architecture. So here's a close-up of that. So we have this idea of plastic films. They have translucency to them. But we can, um, in this graphic, you can see that they can be what's called fritted or have a pattern applied to them through a printing process and therefore uh, give a kind of a translucent effect to them. And that can be further um, utilized and, and actually use it to block sun in this case. So here's probably our first great example of how these ETFE films are uh, created. So this, by, by pumping air into these, they inflate like pillows. So they're clamped at the ends, they billow the most at the center. And um, that creates a structural um, kind of tensegrity. The air pressure makes the film stiff, so it resists wind. It takes an arch shape, so it, become, it develops some kind of a, um, a conical section to it um, for um, enhanced uh, thin film performance. Um, but in this case, um, they're illustrating this idea that it can be used to, by changing the way the interior membranes are, this is a double cell system, um, the way they align with each other, you can actually um, cause an interference pattern between the two patterns and then use that to block sunlight. And that would be just by varying the air pressure between the two cells. Um, but that's probably a little bit of an advanced uh, part of our subject right now since we're just being introduced to it. But you can see I, this is a nice graphic. You can see the uh, structural uh, descriptions all really uh, well laid out, even to the fireproofing on the I-beam here. Um, just uh, We'll go through this in some other uh, more technical presentations, but we have the idea of um, um, the transmission and the solar heat gain coefficient and the performance of these windows. Um, and these values, what we want to do is be thinking about how they compare to using sheet glass. And in many ways, um, they're very comparable. And um, here's a mock-up you know, with that kind of a, a film printed on it, um, probably a white ink. Um, and um, the, in this one, uh, what's so nice about this visual is it shows you it wrapping the corner and there's no um, elements, no structural elements, no clamping systems at that corner. So you can make a very, um, a very elegant, clean kind of uh, corner with these films. And here's a detail of that in that wrap of what's happening with the pillow system and its overall effect. So here we have, just so we, you know, to describe this a little better. So here we have really four films wrapping this corner, you know, to create a. F excuse me, didn't mean to slide down there so fast. So we have um, um, basically a pillow within a pillow. And one of the um, net effects of this is it really creates an insulating layer. So every every airspace adds an R value to the system. So this is similar to like a triple glazed window would be. And then, um, obviously, the details, the idea of we have structural systems, and then we have the structural clamping systems that hold films down. What's not seeing is the way the films are inflated, and I think I have some visuals for that um, later on. So that was just a quick overview of just an, a very common uh, facade type application. We're going to, and here's a close-up of that kind of a structural element. 
Um, you can imagine now how greatly simplified um, panelizing systems can be when instead of having to cut glass to precise shapes, you're working with plastic films. Here we have a large stadium roof with ETFE. Um, obviously, lots of uh, transparency for daylighting events. Um, not sure how they deal with solar gain control there, whether that's an issue or not. And um, this is actually where we can go with our Revit modeling. This was early experiments um, a few semesters ago with modeling the films, the idea of bending them around corners, but the idea of, of using a family element to create a pillow type effect that we can add these kind of reflective um, properties to and get um, nice rendering. So one of the goals of our project is actually not just the the, the technical aspects of using an ETFE um, material, but how to use it in a, in, a, in a workable modeling space so that we can communicate our ideas with other people. And the films don't have to be in panel systems. This is a link to the um, of using these things as uh, just decorative facade elements um, and you know u utilizing the properties of their, their glass-like transparency. And this is hyperlinked, I believe. And here we have something similar to what we'll try to do in our lab, and that's to use these films in random patterns to create um, a, a surface, a wall surface, a facade surface. In the case of our project, it's actually going to be a movable door. So we'll have, let me take this up to full size. So we're going to create a, um, a panelized system. We're going to create a substructure to support everything. And we're going to create a, a a double wheel bogey system. You have plenty of opportunity to design the kind of building that will be, the kind of steel work that these bogies might represent, the kind of patterning that the uh, ETFE film will be attached to the structure with. So that's a, that is just part of our introduction to this. If we, um, I'll focus your attention also to going to um, our actual web page here and we'll go to this ETFE project excuse me while I log in and get back there again we have uh, two papers that are available for reading both of these um, are um, this is the a paper and this is a PDF uh, presentation of it. So I would um, ask you to review both of these um, in preparation for uh, next week where we'll probably have a quiz on that. So let me go to Wood and see if we have a, we have an ETFE. We have two quizzes next week based on those uh, presentations. So um, once again, that's in ETFE and make sure you click on the two papers and review them.